yes welcome to my channel uh this is omol the great yeah, through okay. some physiology uh lectures and uh, sharing with you different content in human physiology so please uh follow through with my uh with me through this journey and i hope uh you will actually enjoy you will learn a lot from uh, the concept of physiology um I'm, I'm physiology i'm mastering the subject of physiology so i think i'll have uh, much more content for you to really understand to share with you and for you to make concepts simple whether you're a student whether at whichever level at university and uh, basic biology uh maybe you are doing maybe masters uh whatever it is uh, whatever you're doing as long as uh, the physiology that I'll be sharing here and the content I'll be sharing here benefits you, please. You're very welcome to this channel, please. Um, uh, when you see my content, please, you can like, uh, subscribe, and you can comment and actually share with your colleagues. So straight away, uh, we're going to start with what we shall be calling general physiology. So general physiology. You know, physio general physiology is just one of the areas we're going to be looking at. Uh, after general physiology, we shall move more system by system. For example, the respiratory system, the gastrointestinal system. We shall also look at the nervous system, endocrinology, and, and the rest like that. So we are going to first look at general physiology. And under this general physiology, uh, what is of interest, what we are going to look at, one, we have... Um, we're going to look at the introduction to physiology. Okay, two, we are going to look at uh, the cell and its functions. Okay, the cell and its functions. Three, we are going to look at uh, the Transmembrane transport. Transmembrane transport. And then four, we shall look at the concept of homeostasis. Homeostasis. And then the last one, we shall be looking at uh, what we call the body fluid compartments. The body fluid compartments. I hope we are together. Okay. So of interest with this video, specifically this, we are going to actually focus much uh, on the introduction to uh, physiology. Okay. So under the introduction to physiology, this is what we are going to look at. Um, introduction under the introduction okay so in the introduction in the introduction we are going to look at uh, one we shall look at basic definitions okay definition of physiology okay the definition of physiology we need to know at least a brief background on physiology okay a brief uh, background or what we call maybe uh, history, a brief history, okay, on physiology, where did this physiology come from? Uh, we also wish to look at um, the levels of organization of the human body, okay? Levels of organization, okay? And then we shall also look at, uh, briefly about uh, here, also classification, okay? The classification uh, of uh, physiology okay so to dive right away into our discussion one if you look at uh, what is physiology from the definition physiology this is uh, the study of how the human body works so if you understand how deeply how the human body works then I bet you should be becoming a physiologist okay so um, this word physiology originated from was previously used by ancient Greek that's usually uh, previous from around 14 to 15 uh, BC so physio if you look at this word like I've written it physiology so it's it can be broken down into two words okay physio and then uh, ology okay are we together 
So phys physiology. In Greek, previously they used uh, this word could be broken down into physis, okay, and logia. But these are both uh, used. This this both mean the same the same word, okay. So you look at physio and ology, and then physis and logia. In Greek, this means uh, nature or origin, and then this means study of, okay. So physiology is a study. Previously was used by the Greek as a study of of nature or origin okay so uh this so the term physiology previously in uh, among the ancient greek it was used to to refer to the physiological inquiry of things the physiological inquiry into the nature or the working of things okay so then there came uh, a smart or wonderful uh, man called jean funnel okay called jean funnel Okay, Jean Fanel was uh, a scientist. He was a French physi physiologist. For example, would call uh, I don't know how they would pronounce this in French, but maybe this would be Jean Fanel, something like that. Yeah, maybe I know some French. All right. So Jean Fanel, um, he described this concept of physiology as the study of nature of living things, and that is where a lot of this uh, description about this uh, this subject moved on and picked on from so um you realize the dif different living things actually we can have animals we have plants okay and importantly among the uh, the animals or mammals we can have is actually the humans okay so physiology can actually be categorized into one we can have uh plant physiology we can also have uh human physiology okay but also can have the animal physiology which i bet uh, the veterinary uh, personnel actually study a lot so in relation to human physiology so we shall be really focusing to understand how the human body actually works okay i think that's interesting so um to know as a physiologist this is what you really care about about the human body two things why and how okay so the why of things why and how for example, it's raining out there, okay? So, and it's cold. And if I'm feeling cold, my body reacts by shivering, okay? So why is my body shivering? My body is shivering, okay? The answer here could be, my body is shivering to help me generate heat, okay? So I can feel warm, not so? So the how, how is this body actually generating heat? It means... How is the body, do we describe the processes by which the body shivers to actually generate heat? And that is how we can answer this question. So we can actually understand the physiological response of the body to cold. And that is how, that is what emphasis uh, physiology will be putting across for you. Okay, so you brief, you will see that actually we try to look at, uh, from what I've said so far, we look at the definition, we classified our physiology, we had a brief background on physiology. Of interest, I wish to take you to what we call the um, to the levels of organization of the levels human body. Of organization. Okay. Of the human body. So this is how they are. One, the first level we have is called the chemical. The chemical level okay and then from the chemical level we move to the cellular level to the cellular level okay and then the third from the cellular level we shall move to the tissue to the tissue level then from the tissue level we shall move to the organs okay and then eventually we form the system the body systems Okay, so let me try to elaborate on this one. So at the chemical level, for example, this is where we have different atoms that come together one that form molecules. And actually, for example, if you have um, carbon, uh, hydrogen molecules, and then you have uh, hydrogen and, and, and oxygen atoms. So 
I beg your pardon, carbon and hydrogen atoms, and then so if you have a hydrogen and oxygen atom, two two of these, so you have two hydrogen atoms plus one oxygen atom will actually give you water. Okay, so you have two atoms and that are giving you a molecule of water. And then if you combine different hydrocarbon bonds, okay, different hydrocarbon bonds, you actually form different molecules, okay, or compounds for the for, for this case. And those can be, for example, the different molecules in this case that are important for us in physiology. We can have what we call the carbohydrates, okay. You can also have the lipids. You can have uh, proteins, okay, and so on, so on, so so some of these. So when you have different chemicals at the chemical level, so many of these chemicals come together to form a cell to to move to the cellular level, okay. So for example, I shall look at the structure of the cell. The cell has um, a, a bilayer, okay, and that cellular membrane is composed of different phospholipid layers, which are which are trans uh, and together with transmembrane proteins, for example, and also glycolipid uh, uh, molecules, as we shall see. So most of these carbohydrates and proteins they come together to form uh, to help form a cell. So the different cellular organelles, okay, here what we call a cell. We shall look more at the cell as I already told you. So the different cellular organelles, the different uh, parts of the cell, their structure and function is literally a composition of. A, com a combination of many carbohydrates then from different cells okay so when different cells come together and become differentiated or you know they get organized to form a tissue okay they form what you call a tissue for example examples of cells we can have cells uh, for example let's look at um, let's derive for example the from the circulatory system um, we can have the cardiomyocytes myocytes okay these are cells of the heart so the cells they form a tissue okay which here it becomes the cardiac tissue okay so but you can have different types of tissues for example the different types of tissues you can actually have you can know what you can have what you call um cardiac tissue you can have nervous tissue you can have epithelial tissue. You can have connective tissue and the rest. Okay. Different cells are can different cells they differentiate and come together to form to give us the different types of tissues. And then for the tissues, you can actually form the different organs. For example, the cardiac tissue will actually give us the organ called the heart. Okay. And then nervous tissue, we shall have. Uh, things like the spinal cord, uh, things like the brain, okay, and and nerves and the rest and the different parts of the nervous system. And then the connective tissue will actually give you things like bone, okay, that make up part of your connective tissue. Then, uh, uh, then finally the system, the different organs, when they come together, actually give you what you call a system. With respect to the heart that has been in our discussion, you form what you call the circulatory uh, system okay but also in relation to the brain you form something called the nervous system okay so even with the connective tissue bone um, and the different uh, you know ligaments and tendons you form what you call the musculoskeletal system so this is how uh, the different uh, levels these are the different levels of organization of the body and it's important for you to think about them in this nature. When you bring it this out, then we are on our way to understand more on our more on physiology. Thank you for watching. And next on our video will be uh, we shall look at uh, I told you about this the cell and its functions. Watch let's wait and watch the next video. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And keep let's keep in touch and keep watching my video. Thank you very much.